Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Matt with Green Bar Trading. And welcome back to another trade breakdown video. I'm going to do my best here to go over the trade that I just took on Momentum Stock, recent IPO, GCT. Um, before I do, hit the thumbs up for the video because I'm going to get really in depth here with the trade, with what I'm looking for, and why I traded this stock. So um, let's get right into it. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. And this is the stock that I was trading today. Okay, a couple of things about this. So GCT, before I'm interested, and as I see it hitting our scanners, so it makes a big move here. It's now at the top of the scanner. So when it hits this spot here, I click on it, and we're around this area here. Um, so before I just jump into a trade, I want to see what the float is. I want to see what the news is and what the daily chart looks like. Because if you just jump into anything that's moving, you can really get hurt. Um, so these are scalp trades. Keep in mind, momentum strategy. I'm trading these extremely fast uh, for the most part. That's just the way that I like to trade. I hate to be in anything for too long, um, especially in this market. I mean, look at this break of VWAP right here. By the way, these are my indicators, and um, I really should have just gone over that first. The 9 EMA, when a stock is showing incredible, incredible momentum, right? So it's stair-stepping up. It's breaking out of these flag patterns, breaking out of these flag patterns, and it's just going higher. If something is really strong, it's going to be riding this uh, 9 EMA. The 9 EMA on momentum stocks, along with VWAP, are very important indicators if you're going to trade momentum stocks. Um, if you guys are uh, new to the channel, I trade a lot of indexes, a lot of futures, but I'll also jump into some of these if I see something that I like early in the morning. Um, so this was riding the nine. But before we do that, let's look at the daily chart. So we're going to pull up the chart here. We're going to go to our daily chart. And what do you see? You just see one day of trading. So this is yesterday's trading. The IPO opened at 1920, traded as high as 2122, and then closed at $15.70. But it also traded down to 1250. So this had a very big range yesterday. So since I'm seeing it's a brand new IPO, I get excited when the price is trading above the highest price that it's ever traded which means the shares are brand new then. So um, there's no overhead supply. There's no hidden sellers trying to drop it on you. It's brand new. So um, then what I do, I don't get in the trade yet. I want to go over and I want to check a couple of things out because of that only has one day trading. So I'll go here first to Finviz. I'll type in um, the stock here, GCT, and there's really nothing showing here. You have shares outstanding at 30 million, and you have the float at 360,000. The float is only 360,000 shares. That is and can produce very, very volatile moves both to the upside and the downside. Um, so right away, I'm very, very interested in this, very excited about the possibilities. Um, and then I check off on Yahoo Finance, GCT, type that in there. And then I'm looking at this. Um, let's pause that. 
I want to see the statistics and just double check what I'm seeing on Finviz. Uh, so the float, again, 360K. That is really, really low. Uh, what they're doing with the rest of the shares, they're probably still selling them on the open market. Maybe there's a lot of insiders that own them. Um, you know, there's just a lot of other things that could possibly be going on since this is only the second day trading. But I don't care about that. I'm looking for an edge. I'm looking for a opportunity. And that's the opportunity that we see here, pulling it up on the bigger chart. And I'm going to go back to my other screen because I think it's really important to look not only here at the one minute, which is what I take my trades off of, but looking at it on the five minute as well. So when I get into this trade at 745, brand new five minute candle, it is already very extended. So this is dangerous. We're also going into a dangerous time. Sometimes you'll see the moves uh, on, the, on the front side up to you know, 7.45, 8 o'clock in the morning. And then you'll see that pullback until more traders wake up and maybe they get interested in it because we are still trading just over that, um, the highest price that we were at yesterday. So it's still probably going to be interesting to people. Um, but you know, as far as I'm concerned, since I'm getting in a little bit late, I want to take this trade here and how I get in is very specific. So you guys can see here right around this level right here. I'm just going to make this a little bit thicker so you can see. We start to see this is resistance, resistance. We break out all the way to a high of 26 in the one minute candle before I get in for a full dollar a share cheaper. I get in at support and then we see this breakout, which is exactly what I was looking for. If it didn't happen, I would have to just cut it. If we broke down lower than that support level and broke down below this 9 EMA that we tagged really perfectly, um, then I would have to cut the trade, cut the trade for a loss, and then we would have started our peak here, and we would have sold off from here. Um, we kept going higher, got some beautiful three more candles, so three more minutes. That's how quick these trades have to be. Um, but I got the very, just about the very top of this candle is where I sold. Now, how did I buy? Because the spreads, you can see, they started to tighten up a lot better, actually. The spreads when I was in this was very, very wide. So I put my order out at around support and I waited. I was not going to chase this at $26 a share. I waited for my shares to fill. I think I got 80 at first and then the other 220 um, came into it too. So I got fully filled, which I was very happy about. And then on this rip up, so on that, you know, FOMO buying, the big volume, I hit join the ask. So just a one click button. I'm not going in here. The spreads are so wide, trying to find out where my asks were. I just click join the ask and you're put right there. So I click join the ask into this push up and got a great fill uh, from Thinkorswim. So that worked out uh, really well. Nice break of this triangle um, and, you know, held up at support here and took the, the trade off. And then, you know, yeah, I left a little money on the table or a lot on the table, but you never know how high they're going to go. That's only three more minutes. And then we pulled on back. And now this is breaking VWAP coming back into the top of our uh, scanner. So, and you can see how quick these moves are. This is a three, $4 move. 
on 300 shares, that's $1,200. So I got 465, very happy with one, two, a three minute trade to make $465. So that's it guys. Always looking at the five minute though. It was extended. Um, this is a lot of green candles in a row. So expecting a pullback was totally normal. I was just waiting and hoping for, you know, one more move. And I got it. If I didn't, I was clicking that sell button very quickly. If that broke the nine EMA. So I hope that this helps you guys out. Um, you know, sort of everything that I look at the float, I check multiple websites. I want to know what the company's news is and you know, why it's at the top of the gap scanner. There's always reasons. If there's not reasons why, like this was a recent IPO, if there's not reasons why, then I'm just not going to trade it. Um, you know, these have a better probability to make the moves if they have some kind of catalyst. So, and then checking the, uh, the shares, the float, which was only, you know, in the hundreds of thousands, which is just incredible. You're going to see really big moves. And that's what we saw. So hit the thumbs up for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this trade breakdown on GCT. If you're new, subscribe. I'll see you back on the next one. Take care, guys.